Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. So the L5 nerve root. Bob, when you talk about sciatica, low back pain, there's a very high probability that the L5 nerve root is going to be involved. involved. And there's specific tests that you can actually do at home to figure this out. Now, therapists and doctors have these tests, and you can go through them pretty right. quickly. We're just going to go through them so you can see and understand it. And quite often what we're talking about is a herniated disc, mm. right, causing the sciatica. Exactly, Bob, right. which is very common as well. Uh, Bob, are we going to talk about anything else? No. Okay. <laughs> no, we're going to finish the video. Sam, come on over, big guy. Sam is having All problems. Right. So now let's Brad look. has constructed kind of a sciatic nerve here. Right. Well, actually, uh, just the L5 nerve, nerve sure. root. So here we have... It's, don't be, a f this is not a real nerve. This is, <laughs> but they kind of, it's like the color of right. them, similar. Uh, it's a nerve root that comes out, and it does go down in the same area that the L5 does. It right up here is where it starts. I'm going to point right That's here. That's where it's getting pinched. Yep. Yeah, right in this area is uh, where that b disc is going to bulge, pinch it right in here, and then you can have symptoms down. It comes through the uh, pelvis out here, down the back of the leg, and then actually goes over across the little calf, the th the uh, calf there, and down and to, to the, the front, front of the foot. foot. Yeah, we've got this mapped out on Bob's leg in a nice bright color so you can see. But we wanted to show you on the skeleton, Sam, thank you, we're, we're done with you now though, just uh, excuse yourself. Keep that in mind as we do the one test where we do a straight leg raise. Yes. You'll understand why we're pulling on the nerve. Right, exactly. So. Uh, so as far as symptoms that you will feel, is going to be numbness, tingling, burning, some usual, unusual sim symptoms in the same area where this pink or red or whatever color pink. tape this is. You call it pink? That's pink. That's pink. Okay, say no more. And it'll go to the top of the foot uh, in the middle three toes like that. So sometimes it moves around a little bit, but that's a general area. Right. Okay. So the next step is there's specific muscles that this nerve root will innervate. And sure. the one that it, most people test is your big toe. Oh, yes. The muscle that pulls your big toe up. And a lot of times, I think people are surprised that it's weak. They don't even know it's weak. Yeah, exactly. And, and like when I would test people, you know, I I say hold it, and it would immediately give way, and it, they'd be surprised. Yeah. Why don't you put your foot up so I can? Sure. So can you pull your big toe back? He's pulling it back, and I'm just going to go like this. And can you hold it, hold it, hold it? And usually I'll do it on the good foot first. Right. And they can hold it really strong. Oh, oh. And then on the other foot, hold it, hold it, and it drops right down. Right. And they say, oh, that's kind of weird, yeah. isn't it? And I'll yeah. say, well, it's because that's probably because your L5 nerve is being interrupted. Affected. Yep, right. exactly. So that's the great toe. We call this the great toe. Not the big toe, by the way, right. uh, in the medical world. The king toe. <laughs> the yeah. king toe. All right. What's the next one? You want to lie down, Bob? Sure. Uh, you want to go on the other side sure. just so that the leg is closer. Uh, you want a pillow? No, I'm fine. You, you're going to tough it out? I'm going right. to tough it out. So in the supine position, we're going to do the straight leg raise test. So remember, like Bob had mentioned, that nerve exiting the spine goes to the pelvis on around, around here, all the so way up into the foot. So visualize it. You should be see seeing how easy it is to stretch the nerve. Exactly. So I'm going to take, Bob, did you wash your feet this morning, no. Bob? No. I, of course I did. Oh, of course. Keep the knee straight and have the person relax. I'm going to lift Bob's leg up. Now, a normal straight leg raise will typically go up somewhere up in this area. And what's going to happen on a normal one is a person going to say, oh, I feel my hamstrings exactly. get tight. That's normal. Now, on this, somewhere between 30 and 70 degrees, they found, which, say, 30 is somewhere in here, 70 would be up in here. We get up, and all of a sudden, ah. that nerve is being pulled and it oftentimes, especially if they say, oh, I feel pain in my buttock is a real common one, or in the back, you can be rest assured that your nerve is 
involved. Right. And if you do this and pull up like this, that can even make it worse and make the person really jump. But and even worse, you bring your head forward like this. Yeah, because that nerve goes to the spinal cord, the spinal cord goes to the head, yeah. and everything's connected. Uh, and you can double check. Go to the good leg, and you'll find out, you know, you can do all these things, and they say, all I feel is hamstring pulling a little bit, or maybe a, calf a, a little calf stretch, right. but they're very distinctly different. So that's the next test that you do. Now, typically for a nerve, there's also a reflex. a reflex test, but there's no good reflex test for L5, so that's off the there board. So that makes it a little easier. So you're really looking at two main things, so location of the pain mm -hmm. and the straight leg raise. And one other thing is look at the person's posture. Sure. Now this uh, can happen at different levels, but it'll happen at L5 or L4, and maybe L3, but L5 is so common. The person may be, say if it's on the right side, leaning to the right and forward a little bit. And Bob likes to talk about the pig thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's one yeah, of our... It really makes you look like you're carrying a pig. Yeah, so what happens is because there's a bulge there, your body naturally wants to open up that area so the bulge is, has less pressure on it, right. taking pressure off. And, and, and the person will kind of walk like this. They come into the clinic walking like yeah. this, and right away they're the trying to lean away from the pain. Right. Basically. So right away, the per you know, I'm thinking, eh, that uh, looks like we got a bulging disc right. doing that. But you can't make that assumption. You have to do the other tests first. Uh, did we miss anything else, Bob? No, that, we have a specific treatment for that too. Um, you could just look up our YouTube videos, uh, crooked back, basically. Crooked back. Crooked back. That's what we called it. Crooked back. Oh, that's the title. <laughs> yes. Oh, if you go to our uh, low back pain programs, there will be 40 videos right. all dealing Lots with sciatica, sciatica yes. and that will be one of those 40. So go to bobandbrad.com, go to the program section, right. and look for the one on sciatica. Right, exactly. And the neat thing about this is you can print off a PDF. A PDF. It's going to show the exercises, a, a, a review of the whole video, and uh, it's all for free, absolutely nothing. So take advantage of it. You can get rid of that uh, that sciatica. sciatica. Yep, there's a good oh, chance. L5 nerve root pain. <laughs> exactly. So. All right. Good luck with your self-diagnosis. I hope we've uh, helped you out. Thanks for watching. Be careful. <laughs>